in a reference library which doesn't boast a single book. You see, they're merely blocks of wood, 28,000 of them. Yet there are technicians who can read the wood blocks, noting even the minutest details to build up a better scientific knowledge of timber. The Forest Products Research Laboratory in Buckinghamshire organizes a wide range of experiments like this test to check the resistance of adhesives to plywood samples. In other words, to see if they can stick it outdoors without coming unstuck, except by forcing the issue. Just see what happens when wood is steamed and then subjected to great pressure. It's squeezed smaller without snapping or losing shape. The timber technicians are anxious to know how much they can bend varying thicknesses of wood without damage. A spade handle is a simple example, but something larger will have to survive pressure of about 4,000 pounds per square inch. There are no half measures or approximations about the work. You might not consider it important to know the exact strength and breaking point of an ordinary matchstick, but the scientists do. The same infinite care is the basis of every experiment. To know accurately when a pit prop will collapse can help to make it safer underground for coal miners. This is the sort of feast that Death Watch Beetle will have, unless the scientists can discover deadlier methods of dealing with the bug. A colony of these gnawing away at the rafters could really bring the house down. Dry rot is still a major timber disease. Here, the research team have developed an apparatus which gives a window view of the way preservative penetrates wood under high pressure. The do-it-yourself handyman will probably spend hours doing a job which this sophisticated piece of machinery does in seconds. And there's an added attraction about the invention. The joints always fit perfectly. If you really want to know just how much strain those roof rasters can take, then these are the men with all the answers. There's a calculated delight and satisfaction about testing anything to destruction. But when it comes to raising the roof, the place to go is a school.